Hey guys, Sean Veely here back with another video. And before I start, the subtitle is spelled my first and last name right. It's S H A W N. You got it? S H A W N. V I E L E E. V I E L E E. Sean Veely, okay? So spell it right, subtitles. Closed captions, whatever. Anyway, so today we got DVD of. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Full Screen Limited Edition. Despite it saying full screen, it's got widescreen too, but that's the theatrical version, see. So. Thankfully my copy doesn't have a sticker on the side here and bottom because most of them had a sticker there, there, and there. This one's just got the sticker there. Also, a lot of them didn't have the disc flap. It had like one disc on that side and one disc there. I think this one has a flap. So, we're going to open it right quick. Uh, i got to pause the video and let my puppy out. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So, we got the front here, limited time only. It says two discs. Yep. Disc one, disc two, so it's two discs. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. So glad it's only got one sticker. I don't have to struggle there, there, and there. So what I've seen with some discs, some of them have the disc flap like this one. I can tell it does. You know, the black flap that goes. And then some of them just have a disc there and there and no flap. I hate it when they do that. But I like how I got a good copy. So let's open it up here. Maybe I should start down here where it's already. Yeah, okay. That should be easier, I think. But, um... So yeah, full screen and wide screen, pretty much. I just wish they would have had a 185 one and not the 235 one, because that sort of crops it. And that's why it's the four three letter box format instead of the 16.9. That's the kind of wide screen I prefer, which is why I got it in that format. Said limited time only, so don't want to miss out on that offer, right? Oh, I think the plastic's gonna stick to the side. I hate it when that happens, but oh well. I'll try to move it off if I can. The plastic's just stuck on here, like really tight. I think I got some of it off. Try to get this piece off. Must have been because it's been sealed up for 17 years. So, yeah, this came out in 2004, which 2004 is also the year I was born, and that's how old I'd be in December. I'll turn 17. I want to see if I can pull it off back here without damaging the artwork. No, that's gonna work out. At least the artwork's got the cut edges that are round and not them pointy ones. That... Bruh, seriously? Come on, I'm gonna. Should have just tried to. Cut it in half with a knife and pull it from there, but oh well. You serious right now? Oh my gosh, why do you have to leave a mark right there in the middle? Oh, on that spot. Seriously, I hate that. Sticker residue. No, don't leave a Okay, leave a mark in the back, because not much to see there, but please don't leave a mark up there in the front where that pretty blue is. I don't want that pretty blue to be ruined. I don't mind it being one sticker, but I hate it when it leaves residue like that. On top of it. It's going to take a while to get this off of here.
Also, if y'all, I do have some news while I'm doing this. If y'all, if some of y'all have always wanted to meet me or anything, I'm going to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. I'll be there from the 24th to the 27th at Hollywood Casino there. So, if y'all want to go there, y'all might want to try to plan a vacation for those days and come see me if y'all want to meet me. I, just come up to me and say y'all watch my videos or something on YouTube and that y'all are my fans. That way I know that some of y'all, but yeah, I'll be there then. Oh, it did leave a little bit on the front, but not as bad as it did on the back. Still hadn't got all of it off. I should have used this knife that I brought here because I think that's what I had it for, but oh well. So I'd have thought of that. And I would have only scratched that black top there and it would have been dark up there so you wouldn't have been able to see it. take forever. Let's just open it for how it is now. I'll get the rest of the sticker off later. Disc flap. This is what I was referring to here. Some of them had a disc flap like this and then some copies had a disc there and a disc there without the flap. So I'm glad mine does. But there's disc one and disc two or bonus disc because they got it. <laughs> the graphics look weird. They're kind of Blurry on there, but let's see if this is a DVDR disc or not. I have a feeling it is based on the way it looks on the surface, but nope, it's not. Okay, let's see if the second disc is or not. Well, that's good news. So they're not DVDRs, so that's good because those are the ones with the purple bottoms and they're cheaper and get scratched easier was a little wrinkled plastic up right there, so it smashed it in a little bit, but honestly, I like the front artwork better than the back, so I'm just, I prefer the damage to be on the back, all that to be on the back rather than on the front, where I could see it better on the front here. Let's look at the little insert. Hey, it opens, okay. Shows you all the different ones. That's the one I got there, but just the wide screen. See, full screen's blue, y'all notice? The wide screen's brown on top and bottom. Full screen's blue on top and bottom. New Hope was my least favorite out of this trilogy. This one was my favorite. This one was okay, but this one was my favorite out of that trilogy. And I like the Phantom Menace in the prequel trilogy. Lego Star Wars 2 and all that. Available for a limited time only. Also on PlayStation 2, Xbox 360. And then on the back here, it'll show you the long list of chapters. And the scene selection. So it's 50 of them. And I know that there are three different DVD menus, so I'll show you all that as well. really want to try to get the rest of that sticker off too. It's two different versions. I wonder if this too will have three different DVD menus like the original six did or not. I honestly won't care if it does, but I almost full screen does it. Okay, it's good whenever the stickers on them when they're brand new, but when they've been sealed up for over 17 years, I mean, something sealed up for 17 years, it's usually about impossible to get it open, but 
uh, bent that a little bit, but at least you could still see all this beautiful artwork and it ain't scratched or damaged, so.